In this video, I am going to explain very important place where I usually work on tight ankle joint. Where is it? That is around calcaneus. Like lateral part of calcaneus, bottom part of calcaneus, and medial part of calcaneus. This is very important place. However, that does not mean I ignore other bones. Of course, I take care of talus. Of course, I take care of fibula and tibia. But I want to emphasize, calcaneus is very, very important. I'll tell you why. First thing first, many myofascials and muscles attach on calcaneus. Let's go to bottom part. There is plantar fascia. And many foot intrinsic muscles attach on calcaneus on bottom part. Let's go to posterior part. There is Achilles tendon. Achilles tendon is elongation from gastrocnemius. And of course, soleus attaches here. Let's go to inside part and lateral part, of course. There's no muscular attachment on inside and outside part. However, there are myofascia attaching around calcaneus, that's retinaculum. I will uh, explain this later. And many muscles pass close to calcaneus. That's why if calcaneus doesn't move or myofascia is very tight, muscles cannot move very, very well. Does it make sense? So if intrinsic muscles or Achilles tendon get tight, that inhibits movement of calcaneus. What happens, this bone is inhibited. That can't accomplish the full range of motion of ankle joint, right? Now, what is retinaculum? Retinaculum is like a band-aid uh, covering ankle joint, like inside part of ankle joint and lateral part of ankle joint. Imagine retinaculum runs like this, okay? And beneath retinaculum, there are muscles passing under retinaculum. This is on lateral part. Let's say fibularis longus passes beneath retinaculum. Let's say fibularis brevis passes beneath retinaculum. What happens? Retinaculum gets tight, shortened. That aggravate movement of fibularis longus, okay? Because this is like a taping for ankle, supporter for ankle. What happens if you tighten up too much uh, ankle tape? You can't move your ankle. That's same thing for retinaculum. If retinaculum gets too tight, that inhibits movement of muscles beneath retinaculum. Make sense? Now let's go to inside. There is retinaculum as well, like this. There are muscles passing beneath retinaculum, such as flexor hallucis longus. Flexor hallucis longus, flex big toe, okay? And flexor digitorum longus, that flexes other toes. And tibialis posterior passes beneath retinaculum. Tibialis posterior kind of plantar flexes ankle and invert, okay? Plantar flexion and inversion, okay? These are very, very deep foot muscles. As muscle is located deeper and deeper and deeper, that has something to do with stabilization, okay? These three muscles are very important. If you can't use flexor hallucis longus, you can't flex big toes. What happens if you can't flex big toe? Big toe is kind of lifted. Now you can't grab your ground by big toe. That affect mechanics of walking. Big toe movement is so important for foot movement, ankle movement, and walking movement. Now, flexor hallucis longus passes beneath retinaculum, 
again, what happens if retinaculum gets tight? Muscles beneath here cannot perform well. That can lead tight ankle joint. Make sense? One more structure passes beneath retinaculum here. That is tibial nerve. Let's say this yellow wire is tibial nerve. It runs like uh, this. See? And it passes beneath retinaculum as well. What happens if retinaculum gets tight? That can create the tightness around here. I don't say tight retinaculum pinches tibial nerve, but that can be possibility. Tight retinaculum can create pain around here. Of course, other things can create pain. Maybe you got ankle sprain here or fracture here. Many reasons, but tight retinaculum can be one reason for pain around here. Okay, now you understand why calcaneus is very, very important. In today's video, I focused on connective tissue around calcaneus, like intrinsic muscles, Achilles tendon, retinaculums, of course, movement of calcaneus, biomechanics of calcaneus is also important for foot mechanics, ankle mechanics, but I wanted to focus on connective tissue around here because that is as equally important as biomechanics. So I hope this video helps your understanding of ankle movement, especially about calcaneus. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.